This is a 55 year old male who came to us with pain in abdomen. So the patient was sent to us directly for a CT, he was not sent to us for ultrasound. What do you see? Now you can see that their GB is filled with something, something. It is all appearing hyperlinks. So what do you think it is? Do you think it's a calculus? Do you think it's a mass? Do you think it's some form of a bleed? These are the only three things which come to our mind when we look at this type of a gallbladder, which is turgid, which is tense, and it is showing smooth hyperdensity or filling all throughout this tube. What do we need to do? The easiest way is to give contrast. And when we give the contrast, you see the mean attenuation value is 66. On an arterial phase, it was 63. And on portal phase, it was around 60. So there was no definite enhancement. If you look at this portal phase, in this particular case also, at times you may be confused. In fact, when I had a look at this particular case, the first phase that I saw was the arterial phase or portal phase rather than, see, rather than seeing the non-contrast case. This is normally what happens when you're doing your reporting CT scans and day-to-day -day practice. We tend to look at the contrast study first. So I didn't, I didn't have a look over this phase and I thought that we, probably I'm dealing with a mass lesion. But then when I looked at the non-contrast phase, I started comparing the intensities or the densities in fact and they were found to be identical. So this was a non-enhancing focus or non-enhancing structure which was seen throughout the GB lumen. My question to you is looking at this, do you think this is stone? Stones do not exactly fill the gallbladder like this. In this case, stones, if had there been a stone, you would see one spherical structure. Here, the entire GB is appearing hyperdense. Does it look like a porcelain gallbladder? Certainly not. Why? Because porcelain gallbladder will show calcifications all along the wall of the gallbladder. But here, the calcifications are occurring on the or hyperdensities are basically present along the inner lumen of the gallbladder. So what do we need to do in such cases? Obviously, we've done a CT scan, but now we'll have to go for a sonography. And this is a sonographic image. And what do we see on the sonographic image? Dense tumefactive sludge, which is filling the lumen of the entire gallbladder. So ultrasound at times makes our life so easy. Anytime you have any doubt over a gallbladder pathology, I, it's my request to you that you should always take the patient on ultrasound look at it around and you can actually get answers to majority of your questions. So this was one of those cases which was a bit dicey, a bit confusing on a pure CT scan. So in this case, ultrasound helped us solve this question very easily. Next question. What is this particular pathology? We've already talked about this pathology before. Does it look like a stone to you? You can see that there is some amount of, I should say, an intraluminal hyperdensity or intraluminal nodularity within the fundal region of the gallbladder. So the question is whether it is a stone or not. No, it is not a stone. We've discussed it before as well. Actually, it's an enhancing polyp. You can see it attached to the wall of the gallbladder. And the easiest way, again, you, that you can do is you can just compare to the non-contrast scan. So these two cases that I showed you, the one here where we could see some soft tissue filling the lumen of gallbladder on a portal phase. And this case where we can see a polyp which mimics a stone on a post-contrast phase. This particular question can be only solved if we have a non-contrast scan. So this is the importance of a non-contrast scan specifically in the case of gallbladder pathologies in order to rule out tumefactive sludge as well as to see whether there's a polyp inside the gallbladder or not because polyp will enhance stone will not enhance alternatively you can ask the patient to get an ultrasound then you can do a screening of the ultrasound of the patient to help you make a diagnosis but if you are not provided with an ultrasound then these are the two best things you should always take a non-contrast scan in order to determine whether this is an enhancing lesion or it is nothing but a sludge or a calculus Thank you.